Hello, this is Grace of Ray. If I come your real estate investment expert, like, share, and tell everyone that needs to hear, that wants to hear, that real estate investment in Nigeria is boom, boom, booming. But then, press the notification button so that anytime I say anything, you will hear. Every word from me is a blessing to you. You know it. But at the end of this video, I want you to do something. Share this video. Why? Red flags in real estate investments. I know a lot of people want to jump into real estate investment because real estate investment is profitable. But today, I'm going to give you red flags bam, bam, in real estate investment. Number one. I don't want to use the word number because sometimes I start number one and I don't I just get carried away. So let me try and say dodgy realtors. They are anxious to collect your money. So anxious. You meet somebody online, says this property is okay. He says I'm a real estate consultant, and all they after bring money, bring money. The offer is off the table today, tomorrow. No proper education on telling you what this property is, what the, the, the what to expect from this property location. There are a lot of things in buying real estate. Like I will always say, real estate is not something you buy from the chef. It is not Bon Vita. It is not Milo. There is so much information you need to have. And that's why when it comes to us, Lifeguard, and that's why you should attend Lifeguard University because if you do, nobody will scam you from anywhere. I will always say, I want to educate you first before I collect your money. I always want people to buy from the position of knowledge. So number one, dodge, dodge, dodgy real estate consultant, real estate brokers, real estate agent. Then the next point is, you may call it number two, unprofessional real estate investment advisors. There are a lot of them parading themselves around that they are professional advisors. What makes you an, a real estate advisor? Your uh, hands on, your hands are on deck. You know what do. You know everything about real estate. You have foresight. You have insight. You understand the business. You have put your money sometime in the business. You know everything. Some of them just tell you. They come up with. They promise you ridiculous return on investment, like some models that looks like Ponzi scheme. I don't know how to say this. We come and invest in real estate. Get 50% uh, return in one month. Real estate. You know, like we sometimes have good return 30 20 percent but it's not like you buy a property you buy something it's appreciating that's different or somebody said bring your money i'll give you a return real estate it's not ponzi scheme real estate is not mmm so the sound of give me one million you get two million next month in real estate red flag what are they putting the money into have you have they given you a, a end to end on how they can get this return in one month what is their business model? Red flag. Red. Pam, pam. Red. Real estate is not Ponzi scheme. Land without proper documentation. Land without proper documentation. What is the document? Even if they are promising you document to come, it should be spelled out. The document is coming. Me and you will now know that. This document is coming, you know, let us start praying, you know, whether it will come or it will not come. But it should be something that is clear. You want to take a risk, I should know that I'm taking a risk. So I should know. Then it will not be my decision to say, do I want to do 80% risk, 20% risk, or like me, very low risk appetites. Then when the property is actually too cheap, you hear someone says, have an offer, have an offer. There's a land in Lagos State. It's 1.5 million naira with C or 4. Bam! Nobody will sell it. C or 4. Do you know how much it costs to pay Lagos State to give you a C or 4 right now? You don't even want to know. C or 4 right now is going to like 4 million, even more. So how will somebody say they want to sell land for you that has C or 4 with 1 million naira? From here to here, red, red, red. Bam, bam, bam. Red flag. How much is documentation? <laughs> ah! Oh shit. I smell fraud already in that transaction. Then trust issue. 
If you don't trust somebody, why do you buy? Everybody has the power of instinct. When you start talking to me, God really graced me. Ah, no wonder my name is Grace. When you start talking to me, I start seeing the end of your conversation from the beginning. Spirit of instinct. You can ask for the spirit though. Spirit of discernment. It freely gives to you anything you ask. Once you are shady and you start telling me a transaction, as you are talking, I already see, I see you beyond what you are saying. What I've noticed with a lot of people is that what they say and what is in their heart are two different places, just scattered. And if you are like that, I just see it. And you can begin to see it. As long as you share this video, maybe you just have this grace of hearing what the person did not say to you. You know? So if you do not trust somebody, don't buy from the person. It's not by force. Then shady bargains. I hear some very phony promo. Like, buy now, now. You know, now, 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 now. You know, this property, tomorrow, it will be so surprised. So Today is 80% discount. Ah, Abba. So that means you wanted to make 80% profit. Ah. That's it. If you are giving somebody 80% discount, it means that you are trying to make 80% profit. How do you make 80% profit from somebody? So shady bargains. When a seller wants to sell of all, by all means, today, today. And it's very flexible. He says 10 million. You say 4 million. You say okay. He says 3 million. You say okay. You say 1 million. You say bring it. Red flag. Pam, pam, pam. Red flag. Because he just wants to sell and get rid of the property. Why is he getting rid of the property? Why? He wants it like SAP. It's a different case because we do it. We say sales will close tomorrow and you can buy today. But even when sales is closing tomorrow, it's closing tomorrow. It's not because I want you to buy today. Maybe I'm already oversold and I, don't, I want to keep some back so that I can increase the price. It's not like I want to sell and I will not have the property again. Most times when we close sale, we still have. But we want to do a price review. That's a different case. You know? The best you just want to get rid of your property now, now, now. Property is not bread. The property is not a, a, a perishable goose. That if I don't get rid of these tomatoes now, the tomatoes will spoil. Property does not spoil. Property is tangible. If I don't get rid of it, I make more money. Yes, that is the truth. So, these are some of the things that you will experience when what you want to buy is fraud. And these are what I call my red alerts. Until I come your way again, please, let me remove my glasses. Please, share my video, like my video, and comment. Comment and let me know if you think that what I've just said makes some sense. Thank you so much, Grace Offrey, and I love you guys.